everybody, Mike here again on this rainy Friday, playing around with my Smithy 1220. Uh, had a little dilemma, and I uh, thought I'd share with everybody. I have this part I need to make. This is a quarter-inch thick aluminum plate, six inches in diameter with a half-inch center hole. And uh, what I needed to do was drill eight equally spaced holes in it, uh, and uh, also run a slot, a radius slot in it, to match up to the parts that I'm making. Well, went ahead and purchased the six-inch rotary table. Uh, this is the Grizzly one that comes with the, uh, the rotary table, the tailstock, and the indexing plates. Um, and the first thing I realized was, well, I got a six-inch plate going onto a six-inch table. How am I going to jig it up to do the operation? I went online to see if I could find anything to help me because I am a newbie at this and um, really didn't find much. So I was kind of working with what I got. And uh, this is what I came up with. Thought it was a good idea. I don't know. Uh, so take it for what it's worth. Uh, luckily I got, in this situation, I do have the plate with a half inch hole in the center, so I got something that I can bolt down. What I did was, uh, this has a 2MT taper on it, and on the back side of it there's like a little flat area there beyond the taper. I took a half inch coupler nut and I machined it down so it fits snug in the hole, little, again with a little taper on it, and then I uh, pressed it in making sure that it was uh, not protruding past the bottom and also because I didn't want to you know I, I wanted the ability to still use my taper I made sure that it didn't go in too far so I can still use that to put different things in. Okay well what that did was that gave me threads to work with and then this is a uh, half inch hardened hard, half inch 13 hardened steel stud uh, I believe it's four inches long, and I uh, locked a nut onto the sh to the stud, and then I machined it in the lathe with a little bit of a taper. So what I can do now is, is thread it into the bottom, and then when it it'll go into the uh, taper there and lock itself in pretty close to center. I don't need to be exact. Um, you know, if I'm inside a three thousand, some good. So anyway. So now this gave me a way to uh, bolt my plate down and since I needed to drill through it I needed to elevate the plate off the rotary table so I didn't drill into the table so just real quick again using what's what I have at my disposal I took some 5 16 nuts and some T-nuts and uh, machined the t you know, put them in, bolted them down, machined all the tops so that they were flat so now I can put the plate on and um, that'll give me space between the table and the plate so I can do my drilling. So the operation here would be to uh, center the table, center the rotary table on the, under the mill, and then I will put my plate on, and then I will center it on the rotary table, and then go ahead and do the operation. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've centered my rotary table up zeroed out my DRO so I'm all set uh, you know you definitely want to make sure that you got enough uh, cross slide travel uh, for whatever you want to do um, I've installed my spacer bolts here making sure that they're clear of the area that I need to drill through so now I'm ready to put my center bolt in okay I'm gonna go ahead and bolt my plate on and then I'm gonna go ahead and center that so that um, that's centered on the rotary table and then I'll be ready to start the operation. Okay, I finished uh, centering my plate on my rotary table and uh, like I said I need eight holes equally spaced so I, that was done on a, with the 20 plate and it's 11 and 5 20th so I got um, this all set up for that. Uh, one thing I'd like to show that I did you know switching out from the from the uh, hand dials to the rotary plates uh, is really kind of time consuming and this thing to use you know you always this is spring load so I made this little piece and basically what that does is lock it out this can even still free spin because it kind of locks and uh, locks it out there and uh, this way I can use it as just a regular hand dial and also you know I got 11 turns and then 5 
and you know this thing is having the spring load on that you're just constantly pulling on it and it was really difficult so came up with that little thing there thought I'd share with you guys uh, I think it's uh, it's really neat um, uh, you can use it so so simply now so anyway I'm all set up uh, what I need to do is I need to uh, just set up because my groove that I have to cut in here has to be centered on one of the holes so I gotta make sure I'm correct for that and uh, let's see how it all works I got everything ready to drill my first hole and uh, you know I've located it on my rotary table so I'll know where to put my slot later um, these are quarter inch holes that needed to be uh, two and a half inches on center from center so I got it set up on my DRO and uh, gonna go ahead and it up. get my first hole going. I already got my table locked out and what I want to do Once I uh, punch through there, I'm going to set my x-axis to zero so I know how far to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eight holes and then we'll come back and uh, mill the slot. Okay, I'm getting ready to run my last hole, so I'm going to set this up and then uh, I pull that out, lock it with my little thing. Now I got um, 11. 520 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm going to release my thing into my fifth hole, right there, and go ahead and drill my last hole. set. So now I'm going to put in the end mill and, uh, and get ready to run my slot. So I'm going to recenter on my first hole and then uh, start my quarter inch end mill in there and I got everything lined up. This slot needs to be centered on 1.5 inches and I need it to run, this was my first hole, I need it to run 30 degrees that way, 30 degrees that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick light pass, um, just getting, uh, so I understand where it's going, and then I'll finish up from there. So I'm going to get this. I got my X centered, so I'm going to, that's touching, and I just go like maybe five thousandths right now. I'm going to lock out my quill. Now I'm going to go over here, watching my dial, I'm going to do this without the camera, and uh, rough out this my side. slot, and now I'm just going to keep going, uh, hogging it in, and uh, finish it up. All right, well, there it is. Um, it was too difficult to run the mill and hold the camera at the same time, so I couldn't show you the thing cutting, but it uh, did really good. Um, jig works beautiful. And uh, like I said, I'm sure there's uh, proper ways to do this, uh, but this, uh, for a quick setup, worked real good and did what I needed to do. So, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.